Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to perform niche research for your print-on-demand products using the new Merchant Farmer Niche Hunter tool. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. Merchant Farmer recently released a new tool called Niche Hunter that allows Merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand sellers to easily research niches using sales data gathered on Amazon. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to use this data to select the best niches for your print-on-demand products. The Niche Hunter tool will allow us to view all sorts of valuable information about the top niches on Amazon, such as the top keywords, the search volume, and even the top designs. But in order to use the Niche Hunter tool, you'll first need to sign up for Merchant Farmer. If you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Once you sign up, you'll not only have access to the new Niche Hunter tool, but also all sorts of other powerful tools like the Product Research Tool, the Competition Checker, the Keyword Research Tool, and even the Listing Optimizer. So once you've signed up and logged into Merchant Farmer, you can head over to the Merchant Farmer dashboard. The Merchant Farmer dashboard is where you can view all the tools and features to build and grow your print-on-demand business. To get to the Niche Hunter tool, let's look at the menu on the left-hand side and click on the Keyword Research tab. From the drop-down menu, you should see an option that says Niche Hunter. Go ahead and click that now. So here's the Merchant Farmer Niche Hunter tool. This is a great way to find the best niches to create designs for based on current market data. In the first section at the top here, we can select the category that we wish to research. When we click the drop-down menu, we can see the current categories are shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and pop sockets. If I was to change my category to hoodies, the data shown on my page would change to show the top ranked products in the hoodies category. But for this example, let's just stick with the t-shirts. In the results section, we can see the top ranked keywords and products based on search volume. The keywords column shows the current top search keywords and phrases by Amazon buyers. You can see the actual number of searches made in the search volume column, and also the top ranked products for this week containing that keyword phrase. By using this information, you can easily find trending topics that you can create designs for. So knowing that these are the types of designs that people are looking for, we can write down each niche and create our own artwork for each topic. Currently, the top two most searched keyword phrases both have to do with pregnancy and having a new baby. Our top keyword phrase here reads, it's a boy shirt, gender reveal shirt, and has a search volume of 184,000. Coming in second, we have the phrase, it's a boy shirt, pregnancy shirt, with 116,000 search volume. You can also get tons of other topic ideas by scrolling through your search results and writing down the topics that you might want to make designs for. But remember to avoid any topics that might be a brand name or might be trademarked, like this MTV shirt here. So let's say you've gone through your list, and you've decided to make designs on the top two results, which is pregnancy and gender reveal shirts. Based on the search volume, these are currently the most popular topics. But before creating your design, make sure you check out the designs in the top rank column here. By analyzing the top rank shirts, you can see what types of designs customers are actually looking for. Pay attention to what seems to be popular, like the type of images they use, the text, and even the colors. You can then use this information to create your version of the top designs. If you click on one of the products, you'll be taken directly to the product listing page. Not only can you get a better view of the actual design, but also see tons of other keywords that they're using in their listing. Since this is one of the top ranked products, I want to make sure to analyze this listing and write down all the keywords and keyword phrases that I want to include in my listing. Having the ability to analyze the top products gives you one of the best ways to perform keyword research. If you take a look at the keywords column on Merch Hunter, you'll see three icons under each keyword phrase. These allow you to view even more details about each keyword phrase and the products that are ranking for these keywords. If we click the details icon for the top keyword phrase here, we can dive deeper into this keyword phrase by looking at the estimated monthly sales volume, the competition score, related keywords, and even a trademark check. This can help you spot opportunities, provide you with keywords for your listing page, and make sure the design that you're creating isn't trademarked. The next icon we have here is the keyword finder. If we click on the Keyword Finder icon, we'll be taken to the Merchant Farmer Keyword Finder tool. 
you'll see the keyword phrase we were researching is already in the keyword search box. So let's click on search and see the results. As you can see, this pulls up tons of other related keywords that people are searching for on Amazon. You can see the top keywords and phrases, the Amazon search volume, the Google search volume, the average cost per click for ad campaigns, and even analyze the competition. Simply scroll through the list and find the keywords and phrases related to your topic with a high Amazon search volume. Adding these to your product's title and description will help online shoppers find your products. So that was the keyword research tool. Now let's take a look at the last icon, which is the product search tool. So here's the Merchant Farmer product search tool. My keyword phrase is automatically put in the search box. So let's click on search and see what comes up. I've already gone through a walkthrough of the product search tool in a previous video, so we'll just do a quick overview here. With the Merchant Farmer product search tool, you can dive even deeper into the top selling products. Simply search for your keyword or phrase, and you can see the total results, the average BSR, lowest price, highest price, the average price, the category which you're searching, and the marketplace. If we scroll through the results, we can see the competition score for this niche, the top selling products, the title, features, and description for each product, and even the product's BSR ranking. This is a great way to check out your competition, find new keywords, and see what designs are working. If you look underneath the competition score, you can also see related keywords. This provides you with tons of great keywords and keyword phrase ideas, and even provides you with the search volume for each keyword. If you would like to see the full tutorial on the Merchant Former product search tool, click the card icon at the top right of the screen here. So let's head back over to the Niche Hunter tool. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a search box where you can search for topics that you want to research. If I type in golf, for example, you'll see the top keyword phrases containing the word golf, the search volume, and the top ranked products for the week for that keyword. The Merchant Farmer Niche Hunter tool is a great tool to have to dominate the competition and grow your print on demand business. If you haven't signed up for Merchant Farmer yet, go ahead and click the link in the video description to get started. So that's a quick overview of the Merchant Farmer Niche Hunter tool. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.